being a woman enologist in a world where there is more men is actually very nice. It has never been a problem. That was a question I was asked very often. But in fact, it's a great pleasure to work with all these uh, men around me. First, my father, who's been making wine for more than 50 years, and I've learned so much from him. His knowledge of Bergen is uh, incredible. Then my brothers, who we kind of share all the uh, development of Drouin and management of Drouin, and Jérôme Forbrac, our head enologist, whom I work very closely with as we taste every day together. We work on a lot of terroir in Burgundy, and since I was a child, I have been fascinated by the perfume, the world of the perfumes. They work with a, a range, a variety of incredible perfumes. And if we think of it, in Burgundy, we do the same. We work with this incredible range of what we call the terroir, and everyone has different distinctions. I find there's a lot of similarity with these two. I was very lucky to uh, spend a little time with the parfumeur, the nose, as we say, of Cartier, as well as the team of Chanel. And it was fascinating to see how much we have in common. And so having worked with this terroir, in the end, uh, we decided to, to have a new creation to work on a specific Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. La Forêt Chardonnay is a very interesting combination of a variety of Chardonnay coming from all of Burgundy. I love the northern part of Burgundy, Chablis, because Chablis is a cooler region and it brings a lot of freshness to the wine. You find in this wine, in the Chablis wines, aromas of uh, coriander, of lemongrass, of a little bit of fern too. It's very interesting in the blend. And if we move to the extreme south of Burgundy, we are in the region of the Maconnais, Puy Fuissé, Macon. That region is much warmer. We're close to Lyon. It's a warmer region. And it brings in the wine a lot of the generous aromas that are very interesting also. Like honey, almond. So this combines very well with the northern part. And then we come back to the heart of Burgundy, the famous Côte d'Or. In, in this region where Chardonnay really, I, I would say, express itself so well. We go to a range of aromas that are a little more complex. We are in, in the very um, interesting world of hazelnut, vanilla, flowers. When the wines are young, they're very, very much into floral notes. So combining these elements is very interesting for our La Forêt. And if we taste the wine, if we smell the wine, because again, I was really fascinated by blending this aromatic, um, interesting, from the region. We find in this wine the combination of, of, of all three elements, the freshness, the more generous aspect, and the very elegant style of the Côte d'Or. This is really a lovely wine. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir loves to grow in Burgundy. Actually, we could say Pinot Noir was born in Burgundy. It's really the home of this beautiful variety. In order to come up with this blend, we worked again on the aromatics, two very interesting origins. The Côte Chalonnaise, a little south of the Côte d'Or, the region of Ruilly, of Mercure, will bring the freshness, the beautiful fruitiness that we love in Pinot. Black currant, raspberry, strawberry, all these aromas, very interesting and lovely in a young wine. And then to bring a little bit of the spiciness, we went to Côte de Nuit. In the Côte de Nuit, we're more in the world of uh, the wilderness, the wild and spicy fragrances that will develop very well with time into, let's say, when the wine is ultimately really old, into more tobacco, very interesting flavors. And then there was a, an element that I also love and think is very important in Spino is the texture. To me, the texture of the wine is important. I don't like when they're too solid and tannic. And as some of you may know, I'm very lucky to make wine in Oregon, in the US, the state of Oregon. 
And we work with this beautiful variety again, Pinot Noir. And in Oregon, I found year after year that the texture of the wine is amazing. We got this beautiful, velvety, silky texture that I love in Pinot Noir. So we tried to combine this and make sure in the La Forêt we would find these lovely aromas and beautiful texture. So here again we find the lovely fruitiness, the raspberries here, the strawberry, and the spiciness that comes from the most uh, northern part of the Côte d'Or. And this wine is not only for people who, has, who have a very great knowledge of Burgundy. We want this wine to be enjoyable, approachable for also young generation. And I can talk about my own experience. My daughter, Lorraine, who now is at university, and she sometimes asks me wines to share with her friends. And they love, they adore the La Forêt because it's a very easy wine. It's a no-brainer wine. For them, they don't need to know Burgundy. They don't need to spend a lot of money on the wine. And she loves to share this with, with her. And for me, it's a very nice achievement that we've come up with a wine that will please everyone from the young to the, um, to the older. Yeah, it's a, again a lovely, a lovely wine to enjoy by yourself, but also to share with others. One of my favorite quotes comes from the movie Casablanca and says, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. And I trust our two new creations will bring new lovers to the wines of Burgundy. <laughs>